god, I'm running late. Okay, uh, come on, you continue being weird. Um, uh, bye, mom. Bye, dad. I'll see you later. Oh god, I don't want to be late. Oh, my alarm never went off this morning. So now I am running behind for school. It's fine, it's like it matters or anything. It's not like I hate being late with a burning passion or anything. It's not like the bell is going to ring in five minutes or anything. And before I get to class, I need to pick up stuff from my locker. If I don't, then I... You know what? Fine. Stay up there. If I don't, then I won't have all my books because I left them in my locker yesterday accidentally. Okay, I just need to go straight up. Excuse me. I just need to go straight up. It's just straight to my locker. Oh, okay. Breathe. We're good. Whew. Okay. Axel, can you move, please? Good morning, beautiful. Axel, I slept in. I need to get to my locker. Good morning, Axel. <laughs> Say, please. Please move out of my way so I can get to my locker and get my books. Feisty again. Look, Axel, I need to get my books. I was running behind. Please, I don't see why this is such a big deal. Kiss me and maybe I will. <laughs> Axel! Uh, Dean! Angel, you okay? I'm, 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 I'm fine. What did he do? Nothing. I suggest you do the same. Hey, Dean. Talk to me about what happened earlier, please. Nothing happened. I'm fine. I just want to know you're okay. He just... Axel keeps messing with me. <laughs> messing with you? Yeah, it's... It... I shouldn't be taking it as such a big deal, but it's just it's making me feel uncomfortable. Did you tell him that? No, I'll tell him if he does it again. Do you want me to tell him? I don't feel like you have to do that, Dean. The last thing I want is a fight, and I, I don't. What's wrong? I don't. I don't know. All of it is just. It makes me feel so vulnerable, and I hate it so much. Come here. <laughs> he won't come near you again. <laughs> Thank you, Dean. Don't make a scene out of it, please, though. He might not even know that what he's doing is making me feel this way. I hope he doesn't know. Mom, I'm home. Hey. Hey, sweetie. How was your day? Fine. It was... It was good. I can tell when you're lying. If you don't want to tell me, it's okay, but remember I'm here for you. I know, Mom. 
This guy's just being annoying at school. Annoying? Care to elaborate? He's pushy. Pushy. Okay. I think I understand. Have I ever told you about a guy that I went to high school with named Jason? I don't think so. Well, he was a pig. Everyone agreed with me. But he... He got held back two years and would still hit on freshmen. He would go around hitting on everyone and trying to find the first girl to let him shove his tongue down her throat. Yuck. Well, when Dean's mom transferred to my school, Jason swooped in pretty quick. On top of that, Zeroki was the youngest freshman at the school. She was only 13. But Jason invited her out with a couple friends, flirted with her, and made her feel like she had no way out. He ended up putting a piece of jewelry in her bag to get her in trouble for shoplifting. She could have gotten in serious trouble, but thankfully, I recorded his confession, aka him bragging to his friends about what he did. Does the annoying guy give off those vibes? Maybe a little, but it's far more possessive. Possessive. Angel, this is a story I didn't think I'd tell you. But there once was this girl I knew named Ashley. She had a massive crush on your father and did everything in her power to ruin my life. Her motto was if she can't have him, no one can. So when all else failed, when her thirsty pleads for attention didn't work, she burnt down the place I worked at and framed me for it. Thankfully, we were able to direct the blame back to her, but still to this day, I'm worried she'll return. I don't know how long she was in prison for, but I don't think she's moved on. And that she might want to someday return and take what she sees as hers. Now, does that sound like him? Scarily enough, yeah. Try to stay away from him and try to keep Dean out of it. I know you two aren't dating yet, at least, but he won't see that. Yeah. Oh, God. I'll be right back. I need to go tell Dean. I won't tell him everything, but I'll tell him what he needs to know.